going to show you how to download all free Steam games easily instead of having to download them one by one. You go to this website, steamdb.info, click on menu, go to free packages. You'll need a web browser that has their extension. I'm using Chrome. I believe it's on Firefox as well. As long as you have a browser that has their extension, you're good to go. And then you sign into Steam. Uh, I would click here to hide demos and legacy media. So you're just downloading the games and soundtracks for now. But if afterwards you've downloaded everything and you want to download the demos and legacy media, I would leave that open. But for now, you would go to uh, activate these packages now. Uh, you're only seeing these on mine because I already downloaded everything. And for some reason, this soundtrack showing up and this game is showing up. I already have them. These are listed here for some reason, but they're not really free. Sometimes you get errors like that. So I'm going to click activate. You're going to see all errors. <clears throat> but for you, you're just going to see a bunch of games downloading. It'll say, okay, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, then it'll say that you can't download anymore. You've reached your limit because you can only download 50 per hour. So you can leave the page open and it'll download automatically every hour. Sometimes it doesn't download automatically. So you would have to go back to the page and just click anywhere or refresh the page and click activate now again, and you'll be good to go. Before you start, I would organize your games into collections like this whatever however you want it doesn't matter you can also create a dynamic collection which means that certain games will automatically get added to that playlist like I have a free to play dynamic collection and any well most games that are labeled free to play will automatically end up here some don't and then games that are labeled as free they'll come under uncategorized so you want to move everything out of uncategorized prior to doing this that way you don't get them mixed up so this is the only new one that I have from today I'll go to here and add to free now nothing is under uncategorized so that way it's easy to keep track of what games you got for free and what's free to play and what you bought and all that I did this after I downloaded all the free games so it was a little more difficult for me but since I have the experience I'm just letting you know what I recommend you to do it doesn't matter if you do it or not um, but yeah it makes no difference so uh, yeah, let's see. look at some games got a whole bunch of free games here let's automatically just going all the way down <laughs> um, yeah. it's a little slow it's a lot of fucking games whole bunch of games also you get a whole bunch of music which is great these are free ones after uh, you install the soundtracks I would right click go to manage browse local files because sometimes They'll have multiple formats like MP3, FLAC, WAVE, and you just would want to keep one format. I personally keep either WAVE or FLAC because I prefer lossless, but some only have one format. But yeah, you don't want them taking up extra space that they don't need, so I would do that as well. And I would install them, well I install them to a different drive because I want my music and my game separate, but I mean that's just me. Um, but yeah, and then you also get software a bunch of free software videos tools yeah so uh, yeah then you have all the free games and uh, they always come out with free stuff like every day so I'll check back every day or like I don't know once a week or whatever and you always get some free stuff and they don't always last free forever so you want to catch them while you can uh, but yeah that's it easy shit